Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make this quick video just so you could see what actually went into making this DIY headboard. So, uh, let's get into it. The first thing that I did was actually sand my huge piece of 4x6 plywood to make sure that it would be ready for me to stain it. And I actually went in with my darker stain first, so that way when I dremeled it away, I could do the lighter stain on top of those pieces. So this stain is actually a mixture of two different stains, which I will link in my highlight for this headboard. And it was actually a 2 to 1 ratio of the larger being the darker one of the stains. At this time, I also did the frame pieces of wood as well with the same exact color. I then printed out my design that I custom made and cut out all of the black pieces with an X-Acto. So then that way I could go in with a pencil and actually make each mark of where I need to outline and dremel and take away the wood um, to actually make and create the design. So when I started dremeling, I did the smallest pieces first and I would actually outline each individual area and then go back in with either a sanding bit or the same bit depending on how big or small it actually was. And here you can see I'm sanding away one of the towers of the actual castle itself. Um, I needed to make sure that it was super even and there weren't any divots, um, just to make sure that it would all be one color. I then went in and drilled all of my holes from my fiber optic strands. I only had 300 strands, so I needed to make sure and plan out that I would put them in the right places. After that, I went in with my second lighter stain and went back over the lighter sections. And then here you can see me putting in the fiber optic strands after all of that was done. I also made sure to put a clear coat of polyurethane over top um, just to make sure that if any scratches were to happen it would be easy to come off. Here you can see me putting in each strand and I made sure not to poke it out the other side too far. Um, and then I hot glued each piece into this place so it wouldn't move afterwards. Here you can see me nailing in the frame which I pre-made and then glued and nailed into the actual piece of ply so it had framing behind it and made sure that it wouldn't move from my bed or my wall. I then used my little soundboard that I got from Amazon, which I will also link. I just looked up an instrumental of Happily Ever After online, plugged it in, and then it copied on over to the sound box, which I just hot glued onto the back of the bed frame. It's also light censored, so when the lights turn on, it turns on. Here's the final picture of what it looks like without my bed. And here's the back with all the fiber optic lights and you can see the sound box in the middle. And then here's the final project.